Have you guys heard about this concept of white flight? <laughs> it's really interesting. It's a way in which the decline of the inner city is often explained as being caused by white people moving out in droves to the suburbs. Yeah, it's a really amusing concept because, get this guys, I don't know if you've heard about this, but apparently the reason that black people suffer such high rates of poverty and unemployment is because of racial discrimination. Perhaps you've heard of this, yeah. Apparently there are large numbers of whites who wake up every day and go, God damn it, I gotta keep the black man down. And they work really hard at it. And that's why black people can't get ahead. Yeah, because of things people with white skin do to them. And get this, one of the evil things that we white-skinned people do to keep those determined black people from succeeding, who we all know, by and large, are not responsible for any of the problems in their community. Oh, there's a few cases here and there of one black man who does something bad, but by and large, nope, they're all really determined to succeed in making good choices, they're just prevented from succeeding because we white people spend so much time trying to make sure they don't succeed. And get this, according to White Flight, one of the th evil things we do to them is get up and leave. Yeah. So, get this. So, yeah, we're like, hey, you run the city, you run the government, it's all yours, you know, you, you take care of things, okay? Suddenly, that causes them to fail. Okay, so get this. In other words, what this is saying is the problem black people have uh, closing that achievement gap is white people. Oh, and get this, it's also the lack thereof. Convenient how that works out, isn't it? Oh, but guys, there's nothing racist about any of these ideas. No, nope. blaming all your problems solely in terms of how another group of people with a different skin color caused them is in no way racist, okay? So I'll point out, too, that I'm about two months shy of my fifth year anniversary here on YouTube, and I may not make videos very often, but love me or hate me, I'm kind of a permanent fixture. Might want to get used to me. Till next time.